Using a for loop, we can iterate over the elements of a vector or a slice. Let's start by creating a vector that contains some elements. We can now iterate over these values using a for loop. And if we run this code, we should see the values 1, 2, 3 printed to screen. Now that was pretty straightforward. However, it's worth noting that when using a for loop, Rust under the hood will call into iter on the object you're iterating over, which takes ownership of the object. That means that if we try to use data after the for loop, we get a compiler error because it has moved the data. And the way to get around that is to not iterate over the vector, but rather a slice. And to do that, all we have to change is put an ampersand in front of data. And this code will now compile and run. A while looks a bit like an if. You have the while keyword, followed by a condition, followed by a block. Let's do a while loop using a counter. While the counter is larger than zero, we subtract one from the counter. Let's print out the counter for every iteration so we can see the value decrease. We can also use the break keyword to break the while loop early. And if we forget to decrease the counter, this will be an infinite loop. But sometimes you actually want an infinite loop and to do that we can use the loop keyword. One thing that you can't do with a while or a for loop is to break with a value. However, when using the loop keyword, you can. So now you know about for, while and loop. And to reiterate, you cannot break out of a for or a while loop with a value, but you can with a loop.